As SpaceX awaits the FAA's license approval for another Starship launch, leading American astronomers just declared that NASA's next wave of great observatories should take advantage of game-changing lift capabilities offered by gargantuan new rockets such as Starship. Indeed, what NASA astronomers have just declared about SpaceX's Starship potential will blow your mind. In fact, this is definitely another huge push for Starship to be launched soon. So let's go ahead and dive into this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The advent of SpaceX's Starship, a groundbreaking fully reusable spacecraft, is poised to revolutionize the space industry and unlock numerous opportunities across various sectors. Designed for both interplanetary and Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation, Starship has the potential to transform space exploration, research, and industry by significantly reducing launch costs, increasing payload capacity, and enabling more frequent space missions. As a result, the availability of greater mass and volume capability at lower cost enlarges the design space. We want to take advantage of that. Charles Lawrence, the Chief Scientist for Astronomy and Physics at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said recently. Lawrence's presentation dealt with the impact of large new launch vehicles on future astronomy missions. The presentation was given last week alongside Martin Elvis, an astronomer at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, and Sarah Seeger, an astrophysicist and planetary scientist at MIT. Lawrence, Elvis, and Seeger authored a paper earlier this year in the journal Physics Today discussing this topic. According to that, they pointed out some main potential of Starship, most notably those related to mass, size, and cost. We all know that in the realm of missions to space that involve astrophysics, the capabilities of launchers have remained largely stagnant for the past two decades, imposing significant constraints. However, the Starship promises to introduce three transformative changes. The first is enhanced payload mass and size. Traditionally, missions to low Earth orbit have been restricted to payloads with a mass ranging from approximately 10 to 25 metric tons. The Starship User's Guide boldly asserts its capability to transport payloads of up to 100 tons to low Earth orbit, marking a remarkable 4 to 10 fold increase in comparison to other launchers. Moreover, the Starship can efficiently deploy 21 tons into geostationary transfer orbit and approximately 18 tons into a Sun Earth L2 Lagrange point orbit, a highly favored location for various astrophysics missions, including the James Webb Space Telescope. Notably, for NASA's Lunar Starship Human Landing System, in orbit refueling is an essential requirement. But besides that, one of the revolutionary changes the Starship introduces is the expansion of cargo bays. Space observatories are traditionally deployed from the payload fairing of their respective launchers, with inner fairing diameters averaging between 4 to 5 meters. In stark contrast, the Starship boasts an impressive doubling of this diameter, reaching a remarkable 8 meters. This augmentation promises to enable more substantial and versatile payloads. Finally, we have cost efficiency. The conventional model for launcher development development and construction typically emails costs exceeding $100 million. Exceptions to this rule include the Proton-M and Falcon 9 vehicles, both costing around $60 million US dollars. Though, it is worth noting that the production of the Proton-M vehicles ended in 2022. The Starship aspires to further disrupt the industry by achieving cost-effectiveness superior to even the Falcon 9 rocket. The ultimate aim is to significantly reduce the financial burden associated with launches. To better understand the importance of Starship, according to the report, a tangible example of this paradigm shift can be observed in the design phase of NASA's modest-sized spectrophotometer for the history of the universe, Epoch of Reionization and ISIS Explorer, or Sphere X. Engineers harnessed the available mass capacity provided by the SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle to solve challenges and manage costs effectively. For instance, they opted for aluminum honeycomb panels over technically intricate soft goods based technology for the Sun Earth shade, substantially mitigating risk due to the Falcon 9 launch vehicle's excess mass capabilities. The James Webb Space Telescope serves as a poignant illustration of the complications arising from stringent size and mass constraints. The Ariane 5 launch vehicle imposed a tight limit on the total payload mass at 6.2 metric tons. The JWST's primary mirrors, inclusive of their support structure, 
represented a significant portion of the total mission mass. This mirrors, no pun intended, the design challenges faced by the Hubble telescope, but on a much larger scale, nearly six times its size. In the context of these constraints, project scientists had to develop innovative, lightweight, high stiffness to mass technologies. They selected beryllium as the mirror material due in part to its high conductivity, necessary for minimizing thermal gradients within the operating temperatures of 20 to 55 Kelvin. However, these constraints led to various consequences, such as reduced slew rates and prolonged settling times, ultimately limiting the scientific work that could be accomplished each day. While the JWST ultimately succeeded in its deployment, vindicating the chosen technical approach, the intricacies of the design demanded extensive planning and testing, thus increasing costs and extending the project schedule. In contrast, the expansive fairing diameter and volume of Starship could have accommodated for the 6.5 meter JWST primary mirror as a single component with a mass per square meter similar to that of Hubble. Such an approach would have significantly simplified the complexity of aligning the 18 hexagonal mirror segments. If it launched on a huge rocket like Starship, a telescope's mirrors could also be thicker and heavier, meaning they would be easier to manufacture and polish, scientists said. A heavier rocket could allow spacecraft designers to add on larger solar panels for additional power. The extra power could allow the spacecraft to use cheaper electronics with more redundancy. It is important to note that not all intricate origami deployments would be obviated by the use of Starship. The JWST Sunshield, for instance, still surpasses the proposed fairing size of Starship. However, NASA astronomers also said that while Starship presents an exciting opportunity, it's important to acknowledge potential caveats. There is the possibility that it may not meet expectations, operating at a higher cost with reduced mass capabilities or failing to achieve on-orbit refueling. The launch costs provided by SpaceX are likely estimates, and the actual customer price could be higher. Furthermore, the anticipated savings may not materialize upon closer examination. These risks are inherent to most technological advancements, but shouldn't deter exploring the significant impact that Starship's success could have on astrophysics. Even even if Starship performs as expected, additional mass has its drawbacks. Increasing the spacecraft's moment of inertia and necessitating larger reaction wheels can have implications for station keeping in popular Sun-Earth L2 halo orbits, either requiring more propellant or limiting mission lifetimes. In order to send any of these telescopes into deep space toward the L2 Lagrange point, where they would observe the universe far away from interference from Earth, Starship would need to be refueled in orbit. Feinberg said NASA's Optics X experts have questions about whether the refueling process could contaminate a telescope-sensitive mirrors. A telescope loitering in low Earth orbit waiting for its Starship transport to be refueled could also be subjected to extreme temperature swings, potentially putting it at risk of damage. These are all considerations that we're going to have to understand over the many years to come, Feinberg said. When we ask SpaceX for details, the sense we get is they will tell us as they figure this stuff out, but they can't tell us this stuff now. Starship's via ability is expected to become clear within the next five years. This timeline offers NASA an opportunity to prepare for a new era of launch capabilities by the Astro 2020 midterm review. Coordinated studies over the coming years can explore how Starship might accelerate and expand the Astro 2020 program. The effort invested in planning for Starship success, even if it ultimately fails, is minor compared to the potential gains for astronomy. In any case, there are also plenty of grounds for excitement regarding what Starship could do if it is successful. From the inner to the outer solar system and possibly beyond, it may well open up a whole new era of space science. I'm sure that some very smart people are starting to think about sending scientific missions on Starship, says Abhishek Tripathi, a space scientist from the University of California, Berkeley. Or as Musk put it, it's really whatever you can imagine. Well folks, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to support our channel even further and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking that link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.